whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. That was the famous line from the founder of Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford. And that's the thing with your beliefs. What you tell yourself is what you believe. And what you believe will become reality for you. And guess what? This can play a big role in how you see the world and how you feel. And so, when you have limiting beliefs, they are going to constrain you and limit what you do in your life. On the other hand, when you have empowering beliefs, in other words, thoughts that are supporting you, you will do well in your life. And in this video, we are going to talk about the seven most common limiting beliefs about success. By the end of this video, you will see how many limiting beliefs are stopping you and preventing you from living your best life and achieving your goals. Hey, this is Sean from studymotivation.com. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe so that you will learn more about personal development and success. So let's talk about limiting beliefs. Tony Robbins once said, the only thing that's keeping you from getting what you want is the story you keep telling yourself. And the excuse or the limiting beliefs that most people keep telling themselves is this. Number one, I'm not good enough or I don't have what it takes. This is one of the most common limiting beliefs most people had that stops them from achieving the success they want in life. And usually when you think that you are not good enough, it could be because you have bad experience before or someone you trust told you that you are not good enough. For example, when you fail your mathematics exam over and over again, it could make you think that you are not good with math. Or maybe your teachers and parents keep telling you that your math isn't good and you can't deal with numbers. These are some of the events and experiences that shape this limiting belief and makes you feel that you don't have what it takes. Have you ever invested in something like a stock and every time after you bought the stock, the price goes down? And then you slowly begin to believe that you don't have what it takes to invest in the stock market? Whatever your experiences, you must always believe that you are good enough. You do have what it takes to achieve the things that you want. The reason you failed your math exam might be because you didn't study for it. And the reason every time after you bought a stock and the price went down could be because your timing was bad. You bought it at a very high price when everyone else was trying to sell for profits. Who knows, right? But the point is, you are good enough and you do have what it takes. So trust yourself that you can do it. The second common limiting belief most people have is this. I'm too old or I'm too young. Here's an inspiring quote I want to share with you. You are never too old or too young to set another goal or dream a new dream. Yes, it is never too late. Do you know at what age Colonel Sanders founded Kentucky Fried Chicken? 65. Walmart founder Sam Walton started his first Walmart store at age 44. Ray Kroc spent his career as a milkshake device salesman before buying McDonald's at age 52. So it is not too late. It will only be too late when you think and believe that it is too late. The same goes with being too young. If you think that you are too young to achieve this, the kind of success you want, think again. Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, first launched it when he was just 19 years old. Today, he is one of the richest men in the world. Andrew Mason started an online business when he was just 27. He created a website to offer daily deals to people all over the world. And you have probably used it before. What company did he start? Groupon. As you can see, age is just a number. So don't be stopped by a number and don't use your age as an excuse not to pursue your dreams and your goals. The third most common limiting belief is this. I don't have enough money or time. Yeah, in reality, it may seem like we all lack money and time, right? But if you think about it, everyone has the same amount of time in any given day. You, me, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk, we all have the same 24 hours a day. Therefore, it is not about not having enough time. It is about how you use the time that is available to you. It is about what you do with your time, not how much time do you have. Do you get it? Some people earn $3,000 in a month and some people earn $3,000 in a day. And there are also people earning $3,000 in an hour. So if you think that you don't have enough time, think again. What about money? Well, the fact is, we all want more money, right? Nobody will say that 
they have too much money, correct? When you say you don't have enough money, the thing is, it is not money that you lack. It is resourcefulness. Here's what Tony Robbins say, always says, okay? It's not the lack of resources that cause failure. It's the lack of resourcefulness that causes failure. Yes, it is not about your resources. It is about your resourcefulness. When you think you don't have enough money, is it true? In a way, yes, but what you really lack is your resourcefulness to solve the problem. In other words, you lack creativity to come up with the resources. Think about how successful entrepreneurs build and grow multi-million dollars businesses. They leverage. They leverage other people's time, money, and energy. They are being resourceful. Okay, They are being creative. So it is not that you lack time or money. What you really lack is your resourcefulness or your creativity. Common limiting belief number four, and this is a huge one. I have to work hard to make money. Here's the great news. Success or getting rich has nothing to do with working hard. Still remember the previous limiting belief? What you lack is not money, but resourcefulness. And when it comes to generating wealth, it is about your resourcefulness too. Okay? This is why there are people who work hard for 16 hours a day, but they are earning less. And there are people who work only 4 hours a week and they can make millions, right? I strongly suggest you read this book from Tim Ferriss called The 4-Hour Workweek. After you read the book, you will understand that making money and generating wealth is not about working hard. It is about creating a system and working on the right plan. Always remember this. Your direction is more important than your speed. Just like what Stephen Covey said. If the ladder is not leaning against the right wall, every step we take just gets us to the wrong place faster. You have to make sure the ladder you are trying to climb is leaning against the right wall. In other words, find the right system, follow the right plan, and work on the right thing. At the end of the day, how much you work doesn't count. What truly matters is how much progress you have made. Remember, you want to work on things that get you the most results. So follow Pareto's principle or the 80-20 rule to create more success with less effort. And limiting belief number five, rich people are greedy or successful people are lucky. Now, if one of your goals is to, is to become rich and successful, having this thinking isn't going to help. When you believe that rich people are greedy, guess what? Subconsciously, you don't want to be rich. Why? To you, being rich means greedy and you don't want that, correct? And that is why whenever you have extra money, you will blow it away. You will either spend it or use it somewhere else as quickly as possible. Because subconsciously, having more money means that you are being greedy. Can you see how this limiting belief can affect your financial wealth right now? The same can happen if you believe that successful people are lucky. When you have that thought, it is preventing you from becoming successful. Why? Again. Because you believe that luck is what makes people successful. And what if you don't have the luck? Well, you can't be successful then. And that is why you want to get rid of these types of limiting thoughts so that you can unleash your inner potential and make real progress in life. The truth is, being rich or being successful has nothing to do with being greedy or being lucky. Think about it. If you are someone who is kind, helpful and generous, when you become rich, what will you do? You will help even more people, right? You donate even more money, correct? So stop thinking that rich people are greedy and stop having the belief that successful people are lucky. Limiting belief number six, the economy is bad or there's no more opportunity. When you say that the economy is bad, it may be true, but you know what? Even during the most dire situation, opportunities are still there. It all depends on where you choose to focus on. You can choose to focus on the economy that is doing bad or you can choose to focus on the new opportunities that have emerged. When the whole world went into lockdown, yeah, economy is bad, but it depends on how you look at things. Do you know that Amazon made more profit during the pandemic? Check out this article from Engadget.com. Amazon made more profit during the pandemic than the past three years. This was fueled in large part due to the rise of online shopping in 2020. Of course, not all businesses were thriving during lockdown, 
Many businesses were forced to close down, but there were some that innovated and changed quickly and able to make even more money during the lockdown. I want to share a short video from Simon Sinek, the best selling author of Start With Why. In the video, he shared two real life stories of how people change and innovate to thrive during the lockdown. Here we go. We know how to do this. I read of, uh, I'll tell you two stories. There's a, there's um, a restaurant in New York City called Res Dora. It's a pasta restaurant. It's a relatively new restaurant. It's only been open about nine months. So they're still on, you know, they're still making a name for themselves. Mm. And of course, when New York City issued the order that restaurants could only be 50%, these guys uh, saw the writing on the wall. They could see that this is going to get worse. Right. So they immediately started to adapt their company. So instead of firing off, firing all the waiters saying, well, we don't need waiters anymore. They changed everybody's job. So all those same waiters are now packaging food and organizing online orders and, and call in orders, which by the way, they had to develop. This is a, a high end restaurant. They didn't deliver food. They had to immediately figure out how to do that. Mm. But the point is, is everybody kept their job because they changed their jobs. Yeah. So just as the company had to adapt, the people had to adapt as well. The people who said, well, I'm only a waiter. Well, I got no job for you. Yeah. And so what we're experiencing, even in our own company, which is we're forced to adapt, we, you know, we do live events. Well, that doesn't exist anymore. So if I have somebody on my team going, I'm only going to do live events. Well, I got none for you. Right. <laughs> so we have to adapt as individuals as much as we have to adapt as companies. I tell you of another pizzeria in Chicago. Of course, 70% of their money came in from selling slices. Well, that's done. Yeah. Not sustainable. Yeah. So what they recognized is they have assets, they have resources, they have a pizza oven. And so what they, went, what they did is they started ordering medical grade, um, industrial grade plastic that their oven was hot enough to heat. And they started making face shields to sell to hospitals. Wow. So they're using their pizza oven to make face shields because they can get a, the oven hot enough to melt the plastic. Wow. I mean... Genius. Yeah. Now, when this is all over, they may go back to selling pizzas or they may have two businesses. Do you hear that? A pizza restaurant innovated and used their ovens to make face shoe and sold them to the hospitals during lockdown. And when the lockdown is over, they have two businesses. Genius, right? As long as you are willing to adapt, change and innovate, opportunities are everywhere. Even when the economy is going down. So don't let the belief that economy is bad or there's no opportunities to stop you from achieving your goals or becoming successful. And the last most common limiting belief about success that I want to share with you is this. You are telling yourself, that's just who I am. That's the way I am. You are saying like as if you can't change. You are saying as if things have been fixed and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, when you have this kind of thinking, you are already given up. For instance, you are always late. Your parents told you about it, your friends told you about it, and your spouse said that to you too. You try to change your bad habit of always being late, but to no avail. And one day, you accept the belief that that's just who you are, someone who is always late. It can happen to any area in your life. Some people buy into the belief that they are always broke and poor, and there's nothing they can do about it. When you believe you are destined to be a failure, that's the ultimate failure. No one is destined to be rich or poor, to be a success or a failure. It is all in your mind. When you believe you are destined to be successful, you will do what it takes to get there. Similarly, if you believe you are destined to be a failure, you won't even try. Why try? Because you believe you are going to fail, right? This is why you want to get rid of this limiting belief. So stop creating limiting beliefs that are not helping you in your life. Stop thinking that it is just who you are and you can't change it. No, if you don't like it, you can change it. I like this quote a lot. If you don't like where you are, move. You are not a tree. You can consciously decide and choose what to do about your life. If you don't like the results you are having, then make a change about it. Make better decisions, make better choices and take different actions. And when you do that, things will change. Your life will change. And that's how you get rid of this limiting belief. Do something different that will change your life. So, 
These are the seven most common limiting beliefs people have about success. 1. They think they are not good enough or they don't have what it takes. 2. They think they are limited by their age. They believe that their age has something to do with success. 3. They think they lack money or time, which is not true. What you lack is not the resources, but the resourcefulness. 4. They believe they have to work hard to make money. If you think you have to work hard to make money, you will work until you die. Why? Because we all have the same 24 hours a day. So it is not about working hard. It is about working on the right plan. 5. They believe that rich people are greedy or successful people are lucky. Wrong. If you think so, you will never be rich or successful because subconsciously, you will sabotage your own actions. 6. They believe that the economy is bad or there's no opportunities around. Again, it has nothing to do with the economy, but everything to do with being creative and innovative. 7. They believe that's who they are and they can't change it. Stop thinking from a fixed mindset perspective. Instead, think from a growth mindset perspective. Now, tell me, of all the seven be limiting beliefs here, which one is stopping you from achieving the success you want? Let me know in the comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you smash the like button and hit subscribe the button, okay? Subscribe to my channel to receive more videos about success and personal development. That's all for now. See ya.